Hello everybody and welcome to another P-Man Reviews. Today we have the Make Toys robot Wheel Loader who forms part of Giant Type 61. Um, as you can see this is clearly the a remake of Transformers the Constructicon robot um, Scrapper. As you can see um, Scrapper comes with quite a large uh, number of, of accessories uh, which do all have a, a place to be slotted on his vehicle mode as well. So, we'll start off with this part. Uh, you don't need this now at all for Scrapper, but this forms Devastator's hands, uh, and we've seen other examples of some of the other toys where they can be added. For example, Mixmaster and, um, I think they call him Excavator, so Scavenger. Put that to one side now. So in terms of other accessories that Scrapper has, uh, his gun fits see here fits quite nicely on his vehicle mode and this is the engine which actually does pop out and forms a, a more crucial part of Devastator later on. In terms of actual this mode um, as you can see the wheels do do turn uh, quite chunky wheels but they are all, all turning wheels. The trailer it's the trailer it's not trailer it's the shovel does go up and down unfortunately there's no articulation here um, as much as it would be nice to have some articulation here, I can fully appreciate why they haven't, because in Devastator mode, this forms his foot. Um, so if this moved up and down all the time, it would make Devastator extremely unstable. So I fully understand why they haven't done it. That said, you know, perhaps on a ratchet system it might possibly have worked. I don't know, maybe maybe they did some tests and it didn't. So, you know, you can't have it both ways. And given the choice between the stable Devastator and the gimmick effect of that being able to move up and net move the shovel to move, I'd rather go for a stable devastator to be honest. Detail wise, it's pretty good. Um, you've got a nice ladder detail here to get up into the cab. The the actual shovel prongs are quite a nice detail. And and again you've got the, the fairly standard construction items on here that they all have, but again it's nice to see that level of detail. <coughs> and on the back here, this hook comes out where you can attach the little power generator unit as well. So, vehicle mode is pretty good. Um, I suppose the only thing it looks is perhaps a little bit, little bit awkward with the way the front wheels go, and the whole transformation around the front wheels is a little bit awkward. But just assessing it in terms of aesthetics, I think it looks good. Um, it's nice that everything's got a place to put it, and you know it's quite convincing as being a bulldozer, or as they call it, a wheel loader. Go figure. So now we'll go over the transformation into robot mode. To begin with, take the gun off, don't need it for the moment. You also need to pop out the engine here, literally just pops out. Um, we don't need this again for his vehicle mode, um, not for his vehicle mode. We don't need it again for his robot mode. It does have a place to store it in robot mode, but you don't need this for the transformation. Just put it to one side. So to begin with, you want to pop the shovel up. You can see in here is his head. You want to pop this out. It's it's quite easy to say, not quite so easy to done. The easy way to do it is you see there's this tab here, grey tab. Pull that and that just makes it pop out a bit. Um, I don't think it really matters which way around the head is, but it does on the instructions. It kind of says to have it that way around. This is say it's not <laughs> at this stage. It doesn't matter greatly. All right, now comes the. The fun of dealing with the arms. So these are the arms. As you can see they're on a, a dual ratchet here so when you move one it moves the other one as well. And this is where it can be tricky. So they do come apart like that uh, and again pop out and you've kind of got the bases of his arm there. You can see it's that's fairly clear how that's going to become his arm. Um, the actual arm itself is, is locked away in a hinge so you just need to flip the wheel round out pops his arm, you then flip the wheel back. Simple really. Same thing on this side, flip the wheel round, flip the arm out, flip the wheel back. I suppose, depending on how you did it, you wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to rotate. Depends on which way this is going to end up. Um, and at this stage, I've got to be honest, I've forgotten which way around this is going to end up, but we'll worry about it later. Um, I, I have a feeling these are the wrong way round. Um, I have a feeling it's going to end up this way round. Um, and yeah, I think it is, to be honest, so actually. 
ignore what I've just said. You need to rotate the arm so it's like that, and then you flip it round. So, you see? So there's a rotation here. Flip that around. Wheels that side. So you always want the wheel on the outside. Because the reason I think is that, because you see how the hands are. You've now got this cat bit pointing out, which means you want the head this side. The bulldozer will go back, so you need to put the head pack down. Now this is where you get the fun of these bits, because this bit kind of needs to be down at that so the, the bend there is at the lowest point, otherwise the bulldozer does not, the shovel does not go past his head. See? So you kind of end up looking a bit like that. Don't worry about the fact that it looks a bit odd at the moment, we're nowhere near the end of the transformation sequence here. So, just loose that forward so you can see there's a shiny bit there. Um, that's the technical name for it, the shiny bit, but don't worry, we'll come through that later. Now on to the legs. Try and get the arms out of the way to begin with, so just hook them up. Because this ladder, you can see the ladder here, you want to just take this up, this then pops out. Take this up again, pops out like that, and you can see how the legs are, are formed here. Um, you can see there's various devices so we'll just get these out of the way to begin with just unhook that bit there this whole rear that comes up see so that was there it all pops up and what you then need to do because now you're starting to get lots of different pieces this engine part here flips down like that and the leg should pop pop out pop down why is it up there we are it, it, it will do the whole leg just pops down like that so that's his legs, of course we've got a lot of tidying up to because there's pieces everywhere. So rotate that, rotate that, you can see slot there, slot there. That's the nice thing about a lot of make toys, not well not just make toys, but a lot of them is the fact that they do have quite clear little slots to put everything. Because sometimes it's needed because it can get a little bit I wanna say messy. These are his feet. So Oh, there we are. So you've, you've got this like that. Dash rotates around. Again, you can see there's a tab there. And a slot there. Tab down like that. That is his feet. These will then... I'm pretty sure, you look at how this works, these should push up. There we go. Quite glad it did. I looked a bit silly otherwise. So same again. In, in. Um, and this then just push up. And what you then have is, is feet. Now, the benefit of having this is it means that he does have some movement to his feet. Rotate the waist around. Yeah, rotate the waist around. So you've now got a shiny bit at the back there. There's not really a lot you can do with this. You just have to try and get it out of the way. That's quite good. The shiny bit does move up, so you can at least rotate that up like that. That's kind of the best you can do with that to get it nicely out of the way. And then as for, you've kind of left over with this, but it doesn't have too much to go. It will slot in there so it hides the gap. Because if we left it as it was, as you can see, there's a big gap in his chest where his head was. So it will slot nicely up like that to get rid of the gap. Um, and then we are done. So... I say we're done. Now, you remember I said the engine, you wouldn't need it again, but there is this place to solid. There absolutely is. Um, so what they suggest is it slots in here. So, so you just flip this up. So we can see, just flip this up. You've got a little tab there and a little hole probably can't see, there we are, you can see the hole there, and it tabs in there. So it doesn't form really part of the toy, it's more just somewhere to put it so you don't lose it. To be that's probably worthwhile just doing that as well, making sure that these things aren't lost. And then his gun, he just holds in his arm. So there we are, that is Scrapper. By far, of all the Constructicons, the most complicated transformation of them. That said, it does produce probably the most articulated robot of them all. Um, so I think it's worthwhile doing. 
And when I say articulated, I mean the fact that this is the only Constructicon that has adjustable feet. Um, so you can have him walking on more angles or, or on slightly different poses. Uh, whereas the others, the feet are not adjustable. In fact, as you saw a lot of the other ones, they are a little bit top heavy or difficult to get flat. He is by far the most secure of them all. Um, you know, and I think that really helps. He does have knees. Again, quite quite a pronounced a, a pronounced knee lift there. Legs go all like that. Waist, as you saw, swivels. If it didn't swivel, we wouldn't be able to get those stuff on the back. The arms are perhaps the weak point in the fact that yes, they move, but they move together. That can be a good thing. Um, it can also be a bad thing. It depends, I guess, what kind of poses you're looking at doing. Uh, he's got elbows like that, and he can swivel and move all around like that. So you can kind of move one without the other, but they do want to move together. You have to hold one down to stop the other, stop it moving. And the head is, it all fits in there, but the head is a little bit limited. You can move the head around, but because you've got this big shuffle, shovel at the back and you've got this big chest plate here, it's a little bit difficult to move it. So it actually looks like you can see where he's going. Um, but all told, by far the most articulated of them all. So if we zoom in on his head there, zoomed in too much, there we go. I'm not entirely convinced. He, he can probably just about see where he's going, but you certainly can't see him speak. I know he's got a mouth uh, plate, so you wouldn't be able to see him make the words anyway. Were toys able to speak, of course. Now, comparison size, so we get out our combinable smoke screen and our G1 commemorative edition Skywarp. Again, he's he's on par, he's a little bit taller than them both. It feels like it's the right sort of size, doesn't it? Um, you don't look at that and you go, oh, one of them's the wrong size, or he's shorter than I expected to be, or even he's taller than I expected to be. It feels like it's the right size, and that's a good thing. So, in terms of robot, remember, if you've watched the other, the other reviews, you'll see that you'll have seen me talk about compromises between the robot, the fact that they need to combine to form Devastator without the need for additional kibble. I suppose you won't just about make an argument for this being kibble, but they do give it a function in the other modes, so no, I'm not going <laughs> to after I've got to let these off. Um, and the fact that the robot mode is usually the one, the individual robot mode is usually the form that suffers. Um, I don't think that's the case with this. I think this guy works in all of them. He's the only one who have adjustable feet. Um, and his arms are, he's got the most arm movement, the most leg movement, particularly the knee movement. So I don't think with Scrapper there is a compromise here. I think it's a good robot in all, in all forms. Okay, he does have quite a lot going on, going on in his back, quite a lot of stuff here, but he's stable. So he, he's not going to go fall over all the time. He actually, because of the adjustable feet, he actually is stable when doing that. So I don't really think that's a big problem because, because they've designed the toy to be able to cope with all of that. Whereas some of the others, perhaps they are a little bit less, less less stable so it feels a bit more of a compromise he doesn't have it I don't particularly like the chest plate I have to say I think that's too high uh, that is correct how it's transformed you can't make that any lower so I don't really like like that I think if it were just you know three mil five mil shorter it would look better because it kind of gets in the way of his head but that's that's not a compromise that's that's more of a design fault well, not really a design fault it's just perhaps a personal preference, but I do think the chest plate is too high, um, too high for his head. If if we were looking at it from a down shot like that, it probably looks a bit better, but because we've got it at, this, at level shot, you, well, you can hardly see his head. So I think that's a little bit too high, but otherwise that's, that's, that's just a personal issue for that. He looks good. He transforms, it, it is a complex transformation, by far the most complex of any of them, but that's kind of part and parcel with the third party toys. They are all extremely trans difficult transformations. And frankly, when you get one that isn't, it's a bit of a relief. But that said, you know, there was nothing in there. You kind of sit there wondering what to do now. There is logic to it from the tabs to the, to the little bits that stick out, which all go into a slot. 
so I don't think it's something that you need to worry about too much. In terms of overall style, in terms of overall presentation, yeah, definitely the best one of all the main toys, Giant Time 61 components. And as Scrapper Wheel Loader is the nominal leader of the Constructor Cons, yeah, it kind of makes sense that a little bit more effort's been put into him. So there we are, that is the Make Toys Giant Type 61 Wheel Loader, aka Scrapper of the Constructicons. Thank you very much for watching, please leave comments below and I will see you on the next video. Thank you, goodbye.